what's up guys and girls this is Phil Ebner with videoschoolonline.com bringing you another video creator spotlight today I'm chatting with Evan Abrams of evanabrams.com and his YouTube channel search Evan Abrams in YouTube and you'll find a channel full of amazing After Effects tutorials I've learned so much from him and I really look up to him it was a blast chatting with him. We talked for over an hour and all of his stuff is golden. We talked about all sorts of different things from After Effects, starting a YouTube channel, teaching online, making money online, how to improve your videos. So check out each video. I've separated the interview out into six individual videos. So once you're done with this one, move on to the next one. Thanks a lot and here's Evan. Well, if you go to the E.C. Abrams YouTube channel, you can enjoy all kinds of tutorials, but my favorite is, um, I would say if someone is just starting out, you want to do, I did one about keyframes, and the intro to that, um, as I structure most of my videos, I explain what I'm going to explain before I do it. So that one talks about uh, the different shapes and kinds of keyframes and things like setting keyframes and manipulating them. And I think I created it because everyone kept asking me about keyframes because I would gloss over it in previous tutorials. And I would just say, well, you set a keyframe and then you change it to this type and then you edit the graph editor. And I was like, bam, 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 do these three things. Um, without going into detail, so everyone was getting lost. They're like, what, wait, whoa, back it up. I changed the keyframe. Also, how do I set a keyframe? And if we could, the keyframes, these are frames of some kind. So keyframing is a central concept that people need to know if they're going to move on in After Effects. Um, on its surface, After Effects is only Photoshop, right? If you think about it in terms, take away the time aspect, right? All you're doing is manipulating an image and moving layers around. Keyframes give you the ability to alter things over time. And the concept of altering things over time is fundamental to the rest of the knowledge of motion graphics because motion is only a perceived change in an object over time, right? So we're not creating real motion. We're not moving an actual ball around. We're just saying at this point in time, this object has these properties. And then at this point in time, the object has different properties. And in between those, we will make up some stuff and the computer will do the work for us. So um, my first introduction to keyframes was in Flash. And in Flash, it is not even, not even remotely good to learn there because you have to like add new frames. So the new concept here is that you are adding points on a line and warping that line over time. So when people finally grasp, oh, this is a keyframe, that's gonna open up everything. That is, that is the door that, that's gonna take you into a giant room with even more doors to leave through. Um, just because the keyframing, if you don't know keyframing, eventually you will become hideously confused by most things just because you'll set two keyframes and, oh, why is it behaving like this in between? I don't understand. There's some kind of evil ghost in my computer. And uh, it's not an evil ghost in your computer. It's because it's interpolating your keyframes in certain ways. So that's probably the best one that folks can start off with because it's going to teach you a lot of fundamentals about how to use the tools, what are properties, how do you look at properties. And a lot of that is just about navigating and getting used to what's inside a layer. So probably cool. start there. Oh, yeah. and was do you know the ti specific title of that tutorial offhand, or you can uh, send it to me later? I think it's all about keyframes. Okay. I mean, I try to name them. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Keyframe <laughs> bonanza. Backdoor keyframes nine. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so switching gears a little bit from talking about motion graphics to just talking about you know, building an online brand, teaching on YouTube. I have been teaching online classes for almost two years now, and I actually started off of YouTube, and then I started putting some of my stuff on YouTube and trying to promote my online classes through YouTube and, you know, mm. build my own audience on YouTube. Um, but I guess that doesn't really segue into this specific question, but um, <laughs> that's my background. So that's what we're going to be talking about now. And so for you, I guess right now you talked about, you know, how you made a living before, but are you still doing freelance and are you making any money from 
from these tutorials or from doing other things online? Yeah, so I guess the, the finances of uh, living by your wits, uh, just what they called it in the old days, um, one of the one thing that I tell people.